Hey, people, welcome. So, one of the most frequent questions I get is, Why did I start art and how did I get started? Alright, so I've been making art ever since I could pick up a crayon. I just, I like doing it. I guess I just strongly prefer drawing over trying to play with the children that were mean to me and I couldn't figure out why that was. It also helped that my parents were very supportive of what I did. They gave me a bunch of art supplies. My mom used to get me like these uh, $1 watercolor things and they weren't very good but I still enjoyed using them. But yeah, art has just always been something I've done and it just comes to me naturally because that's how God made me. Also, it's a really fun activity to do even when you have no friends at all. I wasn't exactly the most well-liked kid in my school, but that's, that's another story. But it's okay because I was too busy coming up with all these crazy ideas. I'd make all kinds of crazy characters and stories and I loved getting lost in my own head and just escaping from my dull, boring life. And guys, I made so many stories and they are by no means masterpieces. I tried to avoid writing as much as I could unless I was doing like text bubbles or speech bubbles I should say. And I just mostly drew everything because I love drawing and I, I still enjoy making art. I really want to show you like one of my uh, magnum opuses, which was an assignment I made for school. And I'll have to show that to you someday because <laughs> it's amazing. I don't mean it's well written, but it just it's just amazing that it even exists and I thought it was a good idea to make it. But slowly and surely, I kind of transitioned from just making stories to just uh, pictures instead. It was just a lot easier for me, and I was getting tired of making stories. I mean, it'd be fun to just sit down and make a comic or something, but... Because I, I learned so much about storytelling and writing... And it just be so stressful. I I don't know if I want to do something like that. And uh, drawing pictures is just more fun and more self-contained. And I don't need to think about narrative and structure and characters and all that other stuff. I can just sit down and draw a pretty picture because I feel like it. For a long time, I've just been making art for fun. I never really thought about selling it or using it for the kingdom of God because um, how can art impact people? How can it help the world? It wasn't until years later when the Lord revealed his plan for my life and I realized that, huh, maybe art is good for the kingdom. And then I made a full on video about it. And it's one of my first videos I ever made, and you should totally check it out. Link is in the description. And then I started eventually selling my art online. I still do. It's they're mostly prints though. If you want to go, if you want to check out my shop, uh, you can do that and support me, especially since I've recently quit my job. Link is also in the description. Of course, I haven't really been making as much art as I'd like to. I've been mostly just making stuff to help Christian artists improve their work and to help them out because I found that there wasn't very many resources. And but I did find like one good um, Christian artist helper guy named Matt Tomney. I think that's how you say it. You should check out his Facebook page. There's a lot of good and helpful information. I'll put that in the description too. But yeah, in summation, I've always done art. It's what I was made for. I use it to help people. And now I make like videos and blogs to help other Christian artists with their work. Because well, I want you to type in Christian artists 
and you'll see that very few of them are like visual artists like painters or sculptors and usually you get musicians instead not that they're not artists but i think mm, we need more visual artists i'm sorry to all the musicians and people please don't attack me or hurt me <laughs> and when you do put in christian visual artists most of the time, they're just old masters who are long gone. So yeah, that's uh, that's a bit annoying. And it'd be hard to find other Christian artists who do good work. And I guess that kind of sparks something in you like, yeah, I want to be a part of the solution. I want to help other Christian artists to have more of a voice and to encourage them. Sorry, my thumb got in the way. <laughs> I was originally going to just have a 9 to 5 and just do art on the side, but I don't know. That idea for some reason scared me. Like, is that all my life is going to be? Just somebody on the sidelines who only does art occasionally and maybe sell a few commissions? No, that's not what I want. I actually want to do something with my art. Bada bing, bada boom. This channel exists, my Facebook and my Twitter, they exist because of uh, the purpose I have learned from the Lord. So yeah, why did you get into art? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to respond to them, if YouTube lets me anyway, because for some reason the comments appear in my notifications, but when I actually go to respond to them, they're just not on the video, so please don't get upset with me if I don't respond to your comments. Anyway, have a great day. Bye-bye. God loves you.